Okay, so here's a quick run through of the grading spreadsheet on Google Documents. Uh, just so you, <clears throat> pardon me, I got a little bit of a cold, just so that it's possible or easy for you to um, regrade things when people retest from the Park City class. So what I'm going to do with this thing is I'm going to grab it and I'm going to make a copy and as it creates that copy, boom. So I have a copy of Park City and I'm just going to dump it into this um, file folder right here and then we'll click into Park City. The way this thing works is you got to set this guy up in a, in a, its own folder so it has room to put the graded evaluations here let's open it really quick it'll make more sense when you see it okay so this is in google docs basically it's the same uh the same spreadsheet that we've been looking at for a while i'll zoom out here just a little bit to make it a little bit easier to read um so all of my students are over here and then grades going across this is all filled in the two yellow cells are the two people that are incomplete at this point and then it goes all the way across to comments and then if you need to edit the comments double click and the cell will pop up so you can read and write in it um, but here's the the way you go about making life easy uh, down here um, you'll see this dashboard look and actually I'm going to bump out to uh, 50% is that too far yeah here okay, we'll put it at 60 so it's 60% I got a pretty good view and I'm just going to go up hitting the button that says up one row and then it you can see it says running a script you got to wait till it gets done running the script in order to do anything um, now the first time you run this see this authorization required this is that's the reason i copied it put a copy into this file so you could watch me go through this continue it needs my permission to run okay i'm choosing that account app isn't isn't verified the app hasn't been verified by google that's because it's still in development hit advanced boom Allows it to see edit, create, la da 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 da, send an email as me. Now I hit allow. And then I can move up and down. And what you'll see is as it as the script runs, it gives you all the information in this quick and easy way of seeing things. If I want to evaluate or print this evaluation, what it does is it over here in the export tab is where the evaluations or the final copies are placed and so this is just a, a page that gives all the basic information from the class i'm um, going back over to main when i hit export to pdf it would print out tyler's um, grade as a pdf and if i go back to my google drive you can see right here there's his final grade um, and then I'll back up here and go back into the spreadsheet. So you go from student to student just by going up or down in the list. And if you look up, so TL is next, what's happening is it just going up the list. And then at any point, if you want to print out somebody's eval, you just hit print and it goes. And then one final thing, if you want to print all of the evals, you'll see here it says takes five minutes over here is just a batch thing that if i click on it once it says i have 18 students grade i just have to enter my name and hit yes and now it'll start printing and you'll get a run of what it's doing it prints them in batches of five or six and then periodically what it does is it stops and has to wait 90 seconds because otherwise it overloads Google's server. So now it's just pausing for 90 seconds. I'm going to cancel this because we don't need to do all of that. 
at any rate <coughs> um, this is what I shared with you and this is this is how it works and if you look in here you can see it's firing away and making copies of everything and uh, yeah so that's all the news that's fit to tell.